It is time for Miked Up. This is the time in the show we dedicate to hearing from unique and cool people doing some pretty incredible things. Conversations, not sound bites, is part of our commitment on this show to share the stage with other voices. And today we hear from a young gymnast in Montgomery County who's on the other side of the world right now waiting to compete in the Trampoline Gymnastics World Championship. I'm at the Dynamite Gymnastics Center in North Bethesda where we've just had the opportunity to meet a world-class athlete. He's only 16 years old and he's going halfway across the world to compete in a trampoline competition. This is his dojo. So Tomas Mink, you're 16 years old. You are hoping to be a world double trampoline champion. This is a double trampoline. What is it? What's the event? What do you do? So basically you run down this long runway and then you hurdle on with one foot, landing with two feet on this first box right here. And then you do any sort of trick you want onto the other side of the red, landing back on the trampoline and then you do another trick off, landing on the landing zone, and you wanna try and stick your landing inside the box in the back. Or we find ourselves in this enormous and beautiful training facility. How do you fit all this in? And now you're flying off for a week to Baku, Azerbaijan for this competition. It can definitely be hard, but I just have to time manage well. I can't procrastinate on my homework. I can't, I can't really, when I'm in here, I can't think about my schoolwork when I'm out, when I'm working on my schoolwork, I can't think about it in here. I just have to differentiate the two. For people who don't know about double mini trampoline, um, can you just take us through just sort of the, the athlete culture that's involved with that and why that was the one event that you wanted to put all of your time and energy into? It's, it's, I started with the individual trampoline, but then I saw how much more, I guess, hype this event was because it's kind of fast paced, it's more of an adrenaline rush, whereas individual trampoline, it's a bit slower. And I'm just, I'm more of like an all action type guy, so I just saw, I liked, I liked the way you get your adrenaline pumping and the speed it takes and the power you need. I want you to be honest with me here, for our viewers, because they demand to know this. Does trampoline get the respect that it deserves as a legitimate sport? Definitely not. Usually when people hear of gymnastics, they only think about like the balance beam, the bars, that type of stuff. But I think trampoline deserves all the respect, all the respect that those events do as well, because I think it takes just as much physical and mental capacity on you. First of all, the synchronized is awesome. It's that incredible. is a very quick way to gain my respect. Synchronized swimming, easy example. You know who respected did not get the Olympic Committee. They proposed that synchronized trampoline be in the Paris 2024 Olympics. Mm -hmm. No, not in there at all. Only individual trampoline in Paris. I'm glad you asked that question though about respect because I believe that most of us, myself included watching, think they were pretty good at trampoline when they were growing up. I was a bad boy when I was six. Right, they think everybody's just out there screwing around. I mean, yeah. he puts in a ton of time, that training facility, he spends so much time there. That's his house of pain. That's where he likes to jump around. Well done. Get up, get up and get down. Very well done. Yeah. I, you know, I appreciate your commitment to 90s. We would have used that music in the piece, but yeah. then no one at WSA 9 would have been able to use any music for the next six months. That's how much it would have cost. Listen, Tomas, it's his birthday. Tomorrow, he's in Baku. He's going to turn 17 years old tomorrow. This competition starts on Thursday and runs through Sunday. He's ranked fifth in the world. Wow. He's expecting, we are hoping, that he can take gold. This uh, video that you saw with the double uh, trampoline, the synchronized trampoline, he got a gold medal in Russia with that in 2018. Um, he's been doing this since he's three years old. Apparently he was on a trampoline at three years old and they recognized that he had this just air awareness mm -hmm. and he's been doing it ever since. Incredible. Congratulations to him. Very happy birthday. Uh, well done with Jump Around. We'll go ahead and get you that so <laughs> I'll be forced to sing all the other music right. we use. Listen, reach out to me with any unique people, any unique stories that you see here in the DC metro area. You can reach out to me through email or on any of the social media platforms that we have. Want to hear those stories that you wouldn't normally see on TV. We're going to do them here on Open Mic. Jump up, jump up and get down.